Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka on a lovely <laughs> Tuesday morning. Uh, <laughs> we are having fun today in the studio. I think it's not just an ordinary day today. It's been an absolutely exciting day, yeah, Maya? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun here in the studio today as well. So let me ask you, what's happening now? What's in the works now? And um, so if you want to start about what's the next step for the Gypsies, I know you haven't released an uh, album in about 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Last was in 2005. We have been sort of, uh, like, you know, that was a decent, I mean, you can't just plan out and sort of just start an album just like that. <laughs> that was a, just happened, but the thing is, I mean, it took too long, I think, it took almost 10 years since we released the last album. I don't know why it was released in 2004. So it's almost uh, 10 years for December. Uh, uh, we have been sort of a little involved for the last about uh, eight months in refurbishing the studio and buying up some new equipment also. As a result also it got delayed. Actually we should have uh, uh, got the whole thing completed last year, mid last year. We were planning to release it, but somehow uh, it didn't, uh, I mean everything didn't fall into place and it didn't sort of uh, uh, get started. I mean, uh, now everything is almost sorted out and uh, we have got uh, the new equipment and everything is uh, sort of uh, almost there, ready in place. So we should be... Um, uh, so what you're saying is that the viewers can look forward to something new before coming the year is before Definitely before the year is out, we are going wow. to sort of uh, get the album up, released. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I mean, we should be able to sort of get back uh, on the road in, the sense in terms of uh, doing concerts. We have stopped doing concerts for the last about seven years, almost seven years. We stopped doing concerts in Colombo. So we should be able to sort of uh, get started on doing, because that's the only thing which I, uh, that's the ultimate, in my opinion, uh, like, you know, which I enjoy most, like not playing weddings and dances or doing get-togethers or anything like that. My scene is like, you know, if you could do your music, concerts, then that's the uh, ultimate thing in music. So hopefully we should be able to sort of... Uh, uh, get the whole album thing and also uh, the show thing off the ground by next year. Well, by the way, when did you uh, start wearing your signature hat? Uh, <laughs> when I saw the initial signs of losing hair. <laughs> <laughs> losing hair, I thought it should do something. It was, it was very scary. So I uh, thought, you know, I knew that I was going to, I had quite a lot of hair and I was losing hair. Uh, this is the only way to sort of uh, hide the tatte. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that became a kind of a style also. So yeah. I've been, ever since I've been sort of uh, continuing with various, and I have been spending a lot of money on hats, various <laughs> types of hats, various colors. <laughs> but do you have a very uh, iconic uh, style and sense of fashion, Guy, and your thoughts on your dad's uh, fashion sense? Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. particularly focused in fashion, like I've been just doing my thing, but I feel that it's suitable for me. I have not been sort of following... Uh, Gan, I mean, what, what, what are trend? your thoughts on it? Yes. Well, I think it's, it's uh, very distinct, you know, yeah. his hat and then his, his the chain that he has with the big cross, it's, it's very, very distinct and very... I, I mean, you know, an icon is like made up of all of these little elements, you know, I mean... Yeah. Just like Michael Jackson is known for his, you know. I'm not an icon in Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in yeah, no, 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 but, but, but what I'm saying is, like, you know, if you could sort of create an identity, even with your whatever uh, things that you you have your on neck and you know, all these uh, 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 fashionable, uh, let's say your uh, jacket or your shoes or anything, or that matter, your hat, and all these things add up to the what do you call identity of the okay. person. And that's yeah. very important in your industry, isn't it, to have some sort of uh, unique it, identity. It is, it, 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 is. It, it is important, like, uh, but you know, initially even the cross thing, a lot of people thought, you know, I'm a person who was some trying to sort of project uh, Christianity, no, no way, not in that sense, like, you know, we, we've been wearing this cross thing even during our small days, but when it came to the stage situation, only thing, <laughs> it was a little fashionable, you know, I saw even like some of the foreign artists were sort of wearing the, uh, so it became a little bigger. When I got another one done because I'm a multi-religious person, so I got all these religious signs and I just got it made, so I'm going to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've made an identity for yourself as well, Kayan, and oh, what right. are your, 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure right? you have. But uh, <laughs> what, you are your, are what are your future plans? Now, where do you see Daddy going in the next 5, 10, 20 years? I don't know. Let's see, Steve Jobs, he said, like, see, you <laughs> can't never connect the dots looking forward. Mm -hmm. All right? Always backwards. Yeah, yeah always backwards, yeah. bro. <laughs> 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 so, so, yeah, so, well, well my, my plan is to, uh, d you know, to, to, to do work that I think the greatest. Okay. Which I think great work. Like, yeah. just like he says, Steve Jobs said, you know, yeah. I gotta stick to work that I think great work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my all, and that's what I've been. It, I know it's gonna take time. I know people around, they're gonna, they, they're gonna say a lot of, lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, they have been, and then, that, I don't know. I think I'm, I, I, I really feel that I'm, I feel this, I feel this rush, this energy. You know that I can do this, kind of thing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing. It's, it's, an, there. it's an amazing feeling. I'll tell you. Like, see, if you don't have the love to. Do any any whatever that you want to do, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't really uh, succeed in doing whatever. See, yes. I, uh, see, I mean, you you do it, but then you wouldn't be happy at the end, or you probably quit halfway through, whatever. But then, I don't know. Touch wood. <laughs> I I probably be able to preserve this yeah. and to you know not and not to lose the momentum, but to carry it on forward and to then do great work that I think might make a difference so that if if i it's not about money or anything it's just work you know i just want to i just want to bring out the best in me just want to mm. get i i'm i'm always looking i'm i'm always in the lookout for in influences you know like see people who can influence me Cause see because i i like i constantly need it like a drug so <laughs> I, I you are an open person. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I, I like to keep it all simple and to be free. Like mm -hmm. some might think that you know, I'm like all, I don't so know, drugged up in the morning. Well, look at that guy. I think your passion is infectious, right? Here. <laughs> <laughs> we need to hear you sing a song uh, as right well. Now. Yeah. I'll do that. Yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Go for it. You do your best, but you don't know whether it'll come right. It doesn't have to be, but you got to. You got to still be the best. Oh my god, this guy is out. He's out here five strings. I still don't know. Oh, he does have only five strings. Hold on, hold on. We're getting it sorted, buddies. Yeah. <laughs> It'll all be worth it. Come on, there. Oh, no. Serious issue. Now I'll be fiddling around with this a lot. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you can't rush greatness. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Hurry. Be ready. Okay. Um. Neel khandu ke te nadi. Neel khandu ke te pain nidha se matin matuna kulandula dere. Ram ratam tandana. Turnu malviye suona malvi pilot dey suwe lassen jeevite. No du tu abhim ganga ne tiure hanga masit kalbanwa. Rishme ek suwe kenda vasanta kar pinna si silge na enwa. By the way, that's not a song, you know, I mean, which I composed, but then I'm really thankful to Mr. Rukhandu Gunatilik because he um, extended me an invitation to uh, come be a part of it, so yeah, and I and I was really fortunate, and, and it really took off that song, I'm, I'm really glad, so thank you very much. I think on yeah. that note, I mean... You didn't allow us to clap yes, first. <laughs> exactly, so we'll clap right that now. That yeah. was really good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we just went quickly. Better, 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 better. <laughs> anyway, um, Gayan, your group is also recognized to performing live without any computer aids, which I think is a huge uh, thing in Sri Lanka. Uh, your thoughts on that and what do you think about... But you come to stage, is it? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, uh, See, there is nothing wrong with like you, you know, when you're getting computer assistance. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's just all right. See, it's just, you know, I mean, how how far you probably use the assistance of computers in the stage? 
on the, on stage. On stage. On stage. Yeah, see, live, live music. Yeah, I'm saying, see, you see, you can still, you know, operate a com. See, all these keyboards, they're electronic devices. They're being computerized, being fed by a computer. Yeah. The, you know, the programming and everything. So it's pretty much a computer. Whatever electronic device, a keyboard, mm -hmm. be it anything. So if you could use a computer and generate music live up on stage, then it's just fine. But the question is, uh, to which extent would you use it? Would you use it to, you know, fake your singing, to fake your playing on the guitar, to fake your drumming on the drums? See, you can, you see, if you can't generate, see, uh, a, 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 a computer generated sound, out of any instrument that could be played live, say a guitar or a bass guitar or a set of drums, then you can use a computer, say, uh, say, you know, uh, uh, what sort of music is that? What's Skrillex? Skrillex. Skrillex. Uh, yeah. makes Elec no, 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 electro music, like yeah. Dub, mm, dubstep. Pop, pop. Yeah. 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 dubstep. Yeah. So that kind of music, see, cannot be uh, played live like that unless you know, I don't know if, if there are, you know, you need to sort of support your live instrument. I don't know, but I've got no idea about that. What I'm saying is that if you could use a computer mm -hmm. and then mix it with, you know, live instruments, then it could be fine. But then you can still, you know, I mean, you know, make a computer, like put up a computer right in the middle of the stage. And then if you could just, you know, generate it live, right? there or up on stage then just you know pressing a play button and then just m yeah. letting yeah. it play so it then, then, then I, I think then you've got some band has to play yeah, yeah. my yeah. band has to play a live band should play live not there's playing there's a CD, yes. not miming to a CD yes. or putting a CD on and just saying no a live band should play mm -hmm. or get a band to back you you know that's a band that's my opinion of a band is that so you have been continuing this in the, in, in this, this in this industry for a long time and as a family you all have been in this together but there are other people behind I the enjoy scenes only as music. well I, I, I enjoy I, I, I wouldn't go and see a band just uh, singing to a CD <laughs> or miming to a CD or singing for tracks no I won't be excited excitement comes when it's done live right there and you know that these people are talented that, enough to do this. Yeah. When the band is just performing live, that is what creates that excitement. Otherwise, that excitement wouldn't be there. So, I, I mean, I'm not excited by any singer, even a, a foreign singer, just singing to a backing track or anything like that. I, I wouldn't be excited, you know. To me, a band should play and that singer should play, sing with the band. Mm -hmm. He might miss a beat, he might miss... Huh? Of, uh, I mean, uh, you might be able to sort of converse with the crowd, I mean, uh, have that uh, kind of thing going with the crowd. And that way, a singer is much more free on stage when you're doing it live. You're 100% free. You should have that freedom on stage. When so it's kind of a recorded track, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. And some good singers do that. Some good singers also do that today. Because they find it very easy. That's the easy way out. You don't need to practice with the band. You don't have to have the keyboard guy playing that, all those uh, complicated parts and the guitar player doing all those solos. You just come with the track and put the CD on and you... No, <laughs> that's, that's not music. That's, okay. not, that's not music to me. That's all right. I mean, for people who... Then you might as well go to a discotheque and play that <laughs> <thing>. <laughs>